Okay, so I have been looking through the LogSeq forums and looking for some of the questions that come up. And a lot of the questions are around workflows and, and how you manage workflows. And I thought I would just throw my voice into the mix by making a video because my brain is particularly chaotic and I have found a, a workflow that works for me and it might be worth sharing. So what I do is just stream of consciousness in one database. Uh, or graph as it might be called. So lots of people recommend sort of uh, having one personal graph and another work graph. That doesn't work for me. I like to have everything in one place and just use pages and um, so either using this, the double square brackets or the hashtag to separate the, or to be able to separate the information out at a later stage. So here you can see a typical day. It's obviously not my personal database because I did not dream about unicorns and rainbows, but my I started with my morning pages, which is just gratitude, so three things, and then what I'm thinking about, and then dreams, and then I will just as I enter the workday, just enter random thoughts and um, yeah, to dos. So I've got three main thing, three main way, ways that I classify a block or any information that I put in, and that is with feedback. So feedback is if I want to bring something up with someone in a sort of professional development capacity or inbox is when I want to just discuss something with them briefly. And then the other handle is, or the other separation is work or personal. So that means that if I'm, I'm just in the middle of the day and something personal comes up, I'll just add a hashtag personal and then it will sort of separate that out for me later. And then the, the T's that you can see here are a special type of um, input into, into LogSeq, which is just your control enter function. And that allows you to create to do's. So if I say to do, I can make this to do. If I go control enter again, it says doing. And if I go control enter again, done. So I'll just keep it to do. And, and that's the way that I just do everything. Um, as it comes up, put it down, add a hashtag, which will allow me to find it later. So one of the principles of Roam and of LogSeq is that you don't have to have a top-down hierarchy in order to find the information. If you just have good tags and you just tag information as you go along, you'll be able to surface the information later when you want it. So this, this is not very detailed tagging, but it's a, it's a very short example. So what I do when I wants to get into work mode specifically and I need to look at my to do's. I have a, I have a home page. My, so my home page is like my landing page. So if I just go to home, you see here, I've got all my to do's. Let me just close them. So it's not so messy, uh, personal and to do's and I'll look at all my work to do's and that brings up all the different to do's that I've tagged with work. And then if I go to my personal to do's, same thing, all the to do's that I've found that I've tagged with personal. And then I've got this other category, which is just general to do's in case I've missed something or haven't tagged it. So that allows me to find what I need to do very quickly in the day. And then if I'm having a meeting with someone, just a general meeting, for instance, so now let me go to John, I can go to John and I can either use the page here and just look what I want to discuss with John, which is in the inbox, or I can actually create a query where I say, um, let me go here and I say, I just say uh, backslash and then I type query and I say where it's and John and the other one is inbox. And then you'll see there, I've got this note, April 12th, John inbox, what are we going to do about the project? And that comes directly from there. But if I had more things to discuss with John, I could very quickly see what I need to discuss with him in this inbox. And then when I'm, pro when I'm done with that, I'll, I'll typically actually just delete that, that tag. Uh, so I don't need to keep the information there and I can just delete it. And that's just the way that I sort of order my thoughts and, and make sure that I get everything done. Now, what happens when I want to give John feedback? This I did a little bit differently. I've actually got a page for feedback that I've given John. So let me go to a page for feedback for John. Um, I can actually open that in the right-hand bar. So if I shift click, that opens in the right-hand bar. 
and then let me go back to my my stream of consciousness page as i call it or my infinite notes and then one way of doing this is to have another working page so if i just go to a working page again and it's just a blank page that i can then use to bring up my queries and then move them across or process them so let me query john and feedback query um where we have and john and feedback so you can see here all the feedback that i have for john so once i've given john this feedback john you did this thing and it was great um i can cut it there and then i can also oopsie just go and delete that one there and then come on john come and don't eat all the cake cut that there there and remove those um that point there and then i'll just i can just cut this here and now i've given all the feedback that i wanted to give to john so i've got a track record of um what i what i said to john and i can also if i wanted to do this here maybe nest it underneath the dates that i gave john this feedback so let me just say today um again backslash today and then there's all the information so yeah just a, a, a nice way to make sure that i i find all the information that i need and then also create some sort of stack that i can take information off of and process so that's the way that i think about it so make sure i just add as many tags as possible and create stacks that i can then use to process the information and if you watched all the way to the end thanks for watching i really appreciate it if you have any questions you can type them in the comments and i'll try and answer or alternatively check out the logseek forum or go to discord it's a really cool community and i'd encourage you to get involved and if you're using logseek also consider contributing to the guys they're really doing, they really are doing an excellent job and they don't pay me to tell you this